What's up, people? Here's a thingy that I got in the mail yesterday. It was $30. I don't know if it's any good. I don't expect it will be. It is apparently, I haven't opened it yet, <clears throat> a projector with games built in and uh, two controllers. And I think, I don't know, maybe it uh, can also play Famicom cartridges, maybe? I don't know. It was $30, so I just bought it, basically, because I thought, oh, this is weird. Why is it so cheap? Let's find out. And that's what we're about to do. So let's do it together. Here's the box. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it has a Street Fighter um, logo on it, but you know, this even goes so far as to have the it says YouTube and EA Sports FIFA. Wow, no shame. <laughs> so yeah, it's black apparently, and it comes with that stuff. It's meant to uh, project up to 100 inches or 70 inches it shows in the box, but I think it says up to 100 somewhere. I'm uh, very curious to see what this is like. PGS is a fantasy mini projector game console. <laughs> what a fantasy. It's not real. Uh, what built-in multi-game platform? You can project 10 to 70 inch stereo HD game screen on the white wall directly and enjoy the best vid uh, visual effect and game experience ever ever okay so forget about ps4 or uh 4k gaming on a pc xbox one nah 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 ever ever okay so then here's the instructions yeah see here it says up to 100 inches whatever they blacked out the part about brightness so probably had a higher lumen count than it actually has. So in some countries the voltage is instability. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's see. Game cassette slot on the controller. Heh. <laughs> Alright, well let's uh <laughs> Here's the projector, yeah, it's small, and power waste, 18 watts. <laughs> Looks like there's no, maybe no speaker, because it's an output headphone. So I'm wondering, let's see here. That'll be the power switch. Got a couple USB ports. Wow, that's a, what is that? That looks like it's a SD card slot. Interesting, okay. Mm, these look like speakers. So I don't know about this. It says output headphone, but I don't know where that is. I don't know. Huh. That's going to be for the power. I'm also curious if I'd be able to play ROMs if I put an SD card in there. Interesting. All right, well, on off. Yeah, so there's that. I'm fairly confident the controller is going to be no good. But, oh, look at that. Okay, ah, I see, so the USB ports are for the controller, so presumably you, if you have better controllers, you could use those, or at least one. I'm confused. Okay, there's no, <laughs> there's no, nowhere to put a game. So I, it's like they sent me the wrong manual. Because this wasn't on the manual. Yeah, game cassette slot. How about... <laughs> Alright. What kind of game cassette am I going to put in there? It wouldn't be for batteries, I guess, because... Yeah, maybe it is for batteries. I don't know. It is for batteries. Why does it need batteries if you plug it into the machine? Should the machine run it? You didn't have to put batteries into an NES controller. That's ridiculous. Alright. Anyway, and this is a... Oh yeah, this is just the power thing. Sorry, band-aid coming off finger. 
Right, I burned my finger. Okay, well, not much to that. Uh, I'm gonna have to put some batteries in this. Let's see. Controller is, yeah, pretty shitty. <laughs> um, but maybe I can plug something else in. Those aren't even buttons. They just they look like they would be. All right, I'm gonna get it set up, and I'll uh, project it on a white wall somewhere. I'm not gonna get go to the trouble of putting a pulling a screen out for it, and we'll see how it is. <laughs> All right, check this out. So I went to the trouble of digging up some AAA batteries, and uh, then I was looking at this, and batteries are not going to work <laughs> in this. So um, I guess it just it was a mold, maybe that they had, and they used it for this. But this particular model doesn't need batteries, I guess. I don't really know what's going on, but uh, yeah, it's all plastic. There's no metal, so it's not like putting batteries in there is going to do anything. So, I'll check the other one really quickly. This one has, it says 32-bit. What in the world? What is that? Why is that in there? Oh, I guess, maybe, <laughs> that goes in here. And this is the games. So, I'll try turning it on without this in there, and then I'll try sticking it in, because I don't know. Yeah, let's just go do this. <laughs> At least I don't have to buy batteries. So if you're from somewhere with a plug like this, I guess you can use it. Lucky, I'm not. So, well, that's uh, super sturdy. Yeah, I thought this would be a sweet place to set it up because I have a wet wall. <laughs> Maybe I'll just leave it in here. <laughs> Hi! There's the white wall. Alrighty. Well, it looks like I may be <laughs> getting a new phone sooner than I wanted to because this one, the mic, is spotty. And since I use it so much for recording video, I mean, I'll, I'll see if I can fix the mic. I really don't want to buy a new phone. Anywho, what's happened here is on this uh, recording of the gameplay, you can see it actually works. The mic didn't really work, so I'm just going to talk about it a bit. I've doubled the speed of the video, so... Uh, <laughs> Here you go. Um, impressions. Try to remember the stuff I said while I was playing with it. Basically what I did, I set it up, pointed at the wall, and then I s eventually, I don't know if, yeah, I think I'm, I'm sitting on the toilet and <laughs> playing this, but it gets quite hot in the in the room with the toilet because it's just a, a little room with the toilet. It's not a bathroom. You can't take a bath. And uh, <coughs> the, the projector's heating it, so I was getting pretty warm. But anyway, as you can see here, this is just a like an aftermarket game, I guess you could call it. I'm not really sure what, what to call it. It's I think it was from 2004. I can't see as I'm recording this. Um, and then, so next I'll try to play. What will I try to play next? I think I tried Darkwing Duck next. And as you will see, it's, uh, it's the real deal. Um, I wasn't able to get the picture to be super crispy and nice and clear all the way uniformly. Um, I don't know if it's actually possible, but I was projecting onto a wall, not onto a, a screen design for this kind of thing. And it wasn't, you know, ideal conditions, but I mean, it looks okay, you know, for what it is. It was $30. Um, here I'm struggling with the game because I don't know which button does what, and I finally get it to work. And <laughs> the whole time I was just like, stop talking, stop talking. But I guess you'll just have to take my word for that because the bloody mic didn't work. Anyway, um, so this is 180 games. I don't know if there are any doubles, but some of them are, um, you know, NES games, and some of them are not. Uh, so it's uh, really the ones that are <laughs> that I'm interested in. But I try some more, so you can see. What else can I tell you about it? I can't... It doesn't seem like you can use it for anything but just these games. Uh, there doesn't appear to be an input, you know, where you'd plug in say like a PS3 or something so you could project that on the wall and that's too bad you know that it doesn't have video input that would be a nice feature um, again I'm not complaining it was 30 bucks also I have no idea what the TF card the thing does because plugged in or not plugged in it does the same thing my only guess is maybe it uh, yeah maybe it Let's you save your game data? I don't know. More likely it does nothing, but, I mean, it did come with it, so I'm not sure. I checked the 
instructions and things, and it just didn't, I don't know, it didn't uh, tell me anything. This version of Street Fighter is really bad. Um, it's sped up, so it probably doesn't look as bad as it is, but it's a bit slow and just bad. It's bad all around. Um, yeah, so there's that. What else can I tell you? I'm projecting this is probably about 30... It's 4 by 3, right? So about 36 inches, maybe, 4 by 3. That could be right. Diagonal, not sure. Super Contra seemed to run fine. Just getting used to the controller. It was really a bummer that I couldn't plug in other USB controllers. I tried a USB, a 360 USB controller, and I also tried an iBuffalo uh, Super Famicom um, USB controller. Both really good controllers. They, uh, When they're plugged in, the screen goes white. Um, this thing will turn on and start, you know, the go to the game menu with no controllers plugged in or, you know, and then you can plug in the, the ones that came with it and that's fine. But if you at any point plug in the, the other ones that I tried, just it goes to a white screen. So that's a major bummer because this would be a lot better if you could play with decent controllers. Anywho, like I keep saying, for $30, I seriously can't complain, um, what a neat toy for 30 bucks. You could set it up anywhere, take it for a party or whatever, and if you break it, oh well, buy another one. Um, I got this on Alibaba, 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 AliExpress. It came pretty fast, too, so I was, uh, I was, I was chuffed. Uh, not as chuffed as I was when I opened it, and it actually worked. Okay, so here's Plants and Zombies, and it's, you know, it's the game, but it's so painfully slow. It's like super slow motion plants and zombies. Even in double speed here, it's slow, right? And then I put a rock there instead of a flower to catch sunshine or whatever. And then now I'm just SOL, right? So <laughs> anyway, and then I think I try a couple different versions of Angry Birds next. And the first one I try is actually like a, it seems to be a puzzle platformer or just maybe a puzzle game where the bird headbutts these little rocks to get to the, the other birds to save them, and I don't know what that is, if that's like an actual game that I just wasn't aware of, but anyway, it might be okay, but I kept pushing the wrong button, like the suicide button, you know, some puzzle games, you can get stuck, and you need to kill yourself, right, like Load Runner or something, so that one actually might be kind of fun-ish, once I give it a chance, the other Angry Birds, which I'm about to try here, is pretty dang bad, it's also really slow, and you know, Angry Birds, if you can't see the whole screen, or most of it, you know, I mean, I guess it scrolls back and forth on the smartphone version or whatever as well. Anyway, it's bad. But it was interesting to try it out. Um, so, but like I say, fortunately, this uh, unit comes with some naughty NES games. Naughty meaning they're not supposed to be on there because they're pirated. Um, but what do I know? And <laughs> so, and I think the ones, you know, when they say the name, for the most part, on the menu screen, it's actually what it says it is, which is nice. But then sometimes it's something weird, like the one Street Fighter game. I don't know what that was. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I'm going to try Galaga here at the end, and that worked great. Um, spoilers. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually looking forward to messing around with it some more. I have to decide where to put it. Or maybe I'll just keep it in the box and just use it for, you know, like special occasions or whatever. But I can see this being, you know, useful for various uh, and sundry occasions. You know, like at my our wedding in Japan, I set up an N64 with a projection screen and people were playing Mario Kart and it was massive. But, you know, could have done this as well. This might have been a lot easier, actually. <laughs> and then here's just a couple photos of... Uh, you know, from the, you know, the place where I bought it. I thought it was interesting to share that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, you know, go grab one for 30 bucks. Why not? Bye-bye.